Look at the front where it says Ames real big. You know where I'm at right now? I feel like I'm at the Outer Banks in North Carolina. I really do. But I'm in New Jersey, and I'm at the Atlantic Ocean, the beach. I mean, look at this. This looks like the beach road, Highway 12. But it's not. And it's weird that it's not. Look at that, though. The smell of the Atlantic Ocean. This is amazing. To be able to celebrate my birthday down here in New Jersey, be here at the beach. Well, what, let me get my mug off the camera. Let's look at the beach. This place looks awesome. Look at this. That smell, the feel, even Kayla. Kayla, who's only been to the Outer Banks once, once, she said, it feels like the OBX here. And I said, I can't agree more. But the crazy thing is it's not. And here's what's even wilder. So you're looking at the beach. It's We had a cold front. It's over the ocean now, and it's going through as we speak. That's why it's really cloudy, but this is still beautiful. And you're looking south down that way there. And when we look north here, there's New York City all the way in the back. NYC. NYC and that big cargo ship coming in with shipping containers. This is breathtaking out here. I wonder if I could find a seashell out here. I mean, look at all the shells and, unfortunately, garbage that people dump. And some that wash up from the ocean, too. Here's a few. These little shells. We find these down the Outer Banks all the time. This is cool. Here's a clam shell here. Look at that. Little clam shell. <laughs> there you go. Here's one that didn't come apart. From like mussels or whatever. Another clam shell. This one's still intact. Kind of. The one side's broken. Holy cow, this is beautiful out here. I'm at the beach for my birthday. <laughs> and it's not North Carolina, and I'm not knocking this beach or anything, but man, I do miss the Outer Banks. But this is wicked cool. Look at the size of this seashell here. That's a big one there. Got a hole in it, but that's a pretty big seashell. <laughs> that's somebody's boot. Wow. Just take it in. so weird to be at, an, at a beach on the Atlantic coast and see New York City like that. Oh, that salty air smells so good too. A lot of these mussel shells, little clam shells. That one's broken.
driftwood. Oh, I feel like I'm at home. Look at this shell here. Let's see if we can dig that up a little bit. Oh, that's a big one. Holy cow. <laughs> That's a really big one. <laughs> wow. I think I'll take that home with me. Wow. It's a little chewed up, but wow, that's a big that's a big shell. I wish I wish Kayla was out here with me. She's in the car right now on the phone. Her stomach's a little upset, so, but she said, go out there and enjoy it. And I'm like, I kind of want you out here too, but I understand. Sorry, I'm just taking it all in. been a while since we've been down to the outer banks so yeah I'm just trying to take it in a little bit while we're here it's cool where I'm standing so you can see where high tide comes because you can kind of see the markings in the sand where the water comes up during high tide and like right where I'm standing the water would go all the way back here just think though in summertime this will be all full of guests visitors right now I'm like the only person here there's a big rock wall up that way there there's uh, like a couple of them a couple jetties it looks like it's raining down there too this is so cool glad to bring you guys here with us too this is a lot of fun I like coming here it's no OBX, but this is damn near just as good. I mean, technically, if I walk down this beach for many, 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 many miles, it would work my way to the OBX. <laughs> the air just smells so good on the beach. I love that ocean air. The salty air. beautiful. Just love that sound. Love the view. Literally feels like the Outer Banks right here. It's so hard to explain that. It, I mean, it's, it's so hard to describe that feeling of like we're nowhere near North Carolina. I'm so glad the rain has held off. The sun is out. And I'm able to walk this beach for a couple minutes. Too bad there's some garbage here and there. 
when you're near a big city though stuff works its way out into the ocean and then washes ashore somewhere else a lot of times anyway i think i'm gonna start wrapping up we got other places we want to see while we're here i could spend the whole day here at the beach but i, I got over the rock wall and the sand dunes there by that little uh step right there where they have public access and public parking because a lot of this is private property where you can park there and go over to the beach but they do have some public access as well i almost lost my hat <laughs> they do have some I'm picking up my seashells too so i'll stop up there and give you one last look that wind picked up really fast <laughs> But that's okay. You know, and for seashelling, how many times I've been down the Outer Banks, the best time to go shelling is right after a good storm. Right after it goes out over the ocean, kicks up that surf. Of course, do it safely. You don't want to do it if it's still lightning out or whatever. But when a storm goes off, or first thing in the morning, before everybody else starts hitting up the beach. Usually get some good seashells. I've done it down the Outer Banks hundreds of times over the years. I got a bunch of good ones. I got a bunch of good ones. Big conch shaped shells. Real big ones, especially like the one I found down at Cape Lookout. But anyway, let me get back over that little staircase there where you could even sit there and have a picnic if you want. And uh, we'll take off. They have this little pathway here. Stay off the dunes though. These dunes protect the coastline. These natural ones. And they got two dunes here. The Outer Banks really doesn't have that except like in places like Avon. A couple other places. They help protect it. And this is for like four-wheel drive vehicles like Ocean Rescue and stuff too to get through. Seabright. I guess that's the town name. But anyway, yeah, they help protect the coastline. Oop, almost fell. <laughs> but yeah, you could sit up here. I guess you could walk out on this, because it is a rock wall. It's not necessarily a dune. But look how cool that is. Got your beach road. Just can't see the ocean because of this, but that's all right. It doesn't get any better than this. It's beautiful. If you look between those houses, you see the uh, sound side over there. You've got the bays that go in over there. The water's really choppy because it's really windy. But you have the sound over there, as I would call it. Kind of like down the Outer Banks. Where you have the ocean on one side, the sound on the other. Pretty cool. Anyway, that wind's picking up. It looks like it's going to rain soon, but at least we got out there for about 15 minutes to look around. I got some seashells, which I'm taking home. Not the best ones, but they'll do. They're little souvenirs from the beach. <laughs> and uh, whew, that wind is starting to make it cold. But anyway, I really appreciate you guys watching and hanging out with me here at this beach. This was really cool. And uh, oh, I can't wait to go back down the Outer Banks now. But I'm going to cruise up and down this road a little bit longer and see what else is here. And uh, like I said, thanks for watching, everybody. Take care, stay awesome, and have a beachlicious day on Kayla's behalf. She's in there taking a nap. <laughs> it's like I said, she doesn't feel very well, but she told me, go ahead and go on the beach. I said, okay, as long as you're sure. So, but, all right, see you guys later. Take care, stay awesome. Have a beach delicious day once again. Bye, everyone.